Hi everyone, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'll start with the basic. What is Microsoft uh, SharePoint? So Microsoft SharePoint is a place where we, you can collaborate and store documents, um, show uh, content, and you can do lots of things, uh, uh, manage tasks. And let's see how we get there and create it, and then we can see what it includes. So first of all, we need to just uh, go to office.com and it will enter us. You, you might need to put your uh, mail and password, but this is the homepage of the Microsoft 365. In order to get to SharePoint, we can click on the nine dots to the app launcher and here we can choose the SharePoint. In the SharePoint homepage, we can see uh, some news, we can see frequent uh, sites, and we can see uh, sites that were um, our favorite. On the left, we can also see, as we said, following and recent. Now, if you want to create a site that is not uh, existing, we can go and click on the create site. And here we can decide if we want a team site, which is more collaboration site, that you can store uh, document libraries, and you can also connect it to teams. And on the other side, a uh, communication site, which is more a portal of uh, showing content like a company uh, portal homepage. In this case, we'll choose a team site. Uh, we are offered with all kinds of uh, Microsoft templates. I'll choose, uh, for example, the standard one. Uh, it shows all of the features. We can use it. We'll give a name. Let's call it a demo um, IT. And uh, we could also give a description. The address will actually be a uh, demo ID. And uh, also uh, we can give uh, the site uh, address. In this case, we can keep it uh, as it is, but we can also change it if we want. So we will click next and we can choose here if the privacy. By default, it's private. That means only members that you add will be have access. Public means the whole company will have access. So you need to be uh, careful. The language will be the different language that we want. Um, so let's keep it in English to be simple. We'll click create and actually uh, we can add some members. So we can do it now or later. Let's just add Alex. He's part of this uh, demo site. And we can also choose if he, he can be an owner or member. We'll click finish and we will be moved to this team site. Now, what actually is SharePoint? So we said it's a place where we can share content. So this is a, the home page of the SharePoint and we have all kinds of web parts that show um, links, show a document library and news and some uh, web parts. We will uh, later on, I will show you how to edit it and add some web parts. On the left, we have some uh, navigations, links, where we can click and it will take us. So if we click on the document, it will by default take us to a, a default uh, document library we, which was created. So it's, it's just loading. And here, actually, we can create um, folders and upload uh, documents. Um, so... So in this case, just for, for basic things, what we can do is to choose on upload, choose a file, and we can uh, upload uh, this Excel file. We can also drag and drop. Uh, so let's take an example. So if we have some documents and I'll minimize this and I, what I can do is take this uh, document, drag it, and now it's is added to this document library. If we click on the new, we can create a folder. We can give it a name. We can choose even a color. And now the folder has been created. Now we can upload documents to this uh, folder. We can also drag and drop and enter, um, move the, the files that we, we want. So we said SharePoint is actually a place where we have pages libraries and we can also have lists so what is a list so 
what we can do is to create a list is a like an Excel web Excel, um, but it, it lets us add some columns and some validations what we we want to do. So in the new button, we can either create a list, we can create a library and a page. That's the basic things that we can have. Um, so let's see how we create a list. We'll click on new, we'll click on list. Here we have um, some templates that um, Microsoft provides, issue tracker, event uh, itinerary, asset management, but we can also uh, create a blank one. We can create from existing list, from an Excel or from a CSV. So let's just create uh, our own list. Let's call this uh, demo list. And a list, as we mentioned, is something that we can track um, tasks. And uh, instead of using Excel, we can use this um, this uh, list. So by default, we have a title, but we can add some additional columns. So we can choose a column, a choice column, a date column, multiple lines, uh, persons, yes and no, images, lots of things. But just to make it simple, let's choose a choice. And we want, for instance, the status of this uh, task, uh, status. To have some values, we'll have, um, let's just, uh, new, final, and in progress. So once we have all of these values, we can click it and uh, we have this added. Let's add, let's say, a date and we'll call this due date. And what we will have there actually we can enter this either like in Excel in grid view, so we can just enter, this will be task one. And we will have a status of new and the due date is uh, the uh, 16th of uh, February. Another way of doing it is just to click on this uh, new item. We have a form uh, where we can add the information and we could uh, put it and it's something which is structured. You can do validations and actually you can um, do that. Now, if you want to edit uh, the value, you can go in and to choose uh, actually the value. Now you see all of the information here. Of course, you can create all of these uh, uh, possible uh, columns and uh, you can uh, say if the, if the value sh should be uh, mandatory or not. So this is a great place where uh, you can store it. By the way, you can also add some column comments and uh, do some automations and uh, even do some uh, grouping and uh, lots of things you can do. So we said we can create a list a document library we can do by uh, clicking the new and choosing document library. Also here we have some templates. We can uh, use an existing uh, list and we can create a blank one. Let's create uh, a demo uh, library. We can choose if it will be in the navigation. Once we did that, actually the library is ready and you can actually uh, create folders and do lots of things. Uh, this integration with uh, Power Automate, you can get some alerts and uh, lots of cool stuff. You can even ex export uh, in lists and libraries. You can export to Excel uh, for further uh, analyzing. Um, as we saw here, we can also create a page. So before we create, by we can edit the page which is here by clicking the edit. And now we see that we have actually sections. And if we hover with the mouse, you can see that there's web parts that each one has a different uh, um, functionality. For instance, this quick link is something um, that if we click here, we can actually add uh, multiple uh, links. You can choose how it will look. 
and you can also configure uh, some of the things. Um, the way of uh, actually adding a new web part is going anywhere. You can see you click on the plus, we'll get a list of uh, possibilities. So a text web part is just a place where you can add text. An image web part is where you can add an image. Hero uh, shows the link in all kinds of things and you can add the YouTube and uh, you can add a, a place where you can um, add uh, document libraries, lists and lots and lots of things. So once you test it, you will be able to uh, do that. Um, if you want besides the home page to add a new page, you can click on the home page, click a new and you can choose uh, a page. Also here, uh, you can uh, choose from the layouts that are here, a blank or visual or basic. Let's choose basic and we will click on uh, create. What we can do here is give a title, demo page, and we can add some uh, image for the top area. We can take the image from the stock image or we can take it from the site. So let's look for uh, this uh, nice uh, background. You see, we can also choose the layout, if it will be uh, plain or if it will be uh, color black. And uh, there's lots of uh, overlapping. Now in this section, actually, uh, you can um, Actually, you can add the web part. So we can add a text web part, which will say uh, welcome. And you can uh, set all of these uh, settings with the size and bold and everything. And if we want to now, if we click here on the edit section, we can define how, how many columns will this section have. So by default, it's one. We can set it to two or three. And in each section, we can actually add some uh, information. So in this case, I added an image web part. And let's add, for instance, uh, one of these uh, images. And uh, this image has been added. We can also add a link. Uh, and uh, what we can do here, in this case, I we can also add a a screen web, web part which will actually show um, a, a video if we have that. So this is uh, once we're done we can save as draft and we can also publish it um, and then this page can be added either to the menu or we can uh, uh, just uh, refer to it from the menu. The way we um, control the, the menu we can click here on the edit and we have a possibility on the plus to add either a link, a label, and uh, we can do uh, some hierarchies. So we will have uh, level one, level two, level three, and, um, and then it will be added. So in this case, if I just add a link to a site, then I can add it here. I can give a name, let's call it demo link, and I will save. I can choose if I want it to open in a new tab. Now it's added and I save and uh, it's here. Uh, the, there is a possibility to take this, uh, this menu and to flip it uh, to be on the top. Well, we can do this by going to the gear icon. We can uh, go to change the look and under navigation, we can change it from uh, vertical to horizontal. And now we see actually that this uh, menu is on top instead of on the left. So this is what I wanted to show you. Uh, as, as I mentioned, SharePoint consists of uh, pages, lists, and libraries. Of course, uh, you have management tools for permissions and you can integrate uh, workflows. So uh, if you like my channel, subscribe and see you in the next episode. Goodbye.